So today's session is about identifying transferable skills. So skills aren't enough, especially as we're transitioning into other fields and other industries, right? Saying your, saying your skill um, and just straightforward as that um, isn't enough. Employers are really looking for you to make the connection um, of how your skill is going to be a positive impact for them and their organization. And so when we're identifying transferable skills, we're looking beyond the skill and we're looking for the result that the skill can create, right? Because communication is a good example, right? <laughs> All industries have some form of communication. And so everybody's going to have that on their resume or on their applications. What we want to do is explain how your communication can impact the results for the organization to make that really attractive um, and for them to see the impact that you could make. So we'll spend some time today um, really thinking about your skills, but then also really focusing in on the impact it'll make. Before we get much further, I'd like to get to know um, you all in the room here. So we're going to um, go down to the center of your Zoom and click on that chat feature I showed you. And I would love to hear your name, where you're located, because we're across the nation here. Um, what your uh, previous role was. And then um, I would like you to identify one um, particular skill that stands out in your mind for yourself. All right, you, you all get 100% um, first for um, being able to identify at least one skill you have, right? <laughs> That's the number one goal. No one, no one else is going to toot your horn um, outside of you. So be thinking of that um, as you're going through this process. Thank you all for sharing. And if you, I, I'm a slow typer. So if you haven't had a chance to share your introduction, please keep sharing in chat. Um, I see that most of them are in uh, at this point, so I'll, I'll move us forward uh, in this process. But thank you for sharing and thank you for being um, here and really thinking about what's important um, as you're trying to figure out what, what is next for you. Our skills and our strengths matter to our employer because of the results that it can create, because of the impact that it can make. And um, as much as that's an extra step to think about, it also makes your skill so much more transferable um, because that result um, could be a, a good impact in multiple industries. And so the results that you create from leveraging your skills um, can make your skill feel more transferable and more applicable to even industries that you're new in. Um, so if you're thinking about diving into new potential work or, um, or you're just looking for another opportunity in your work, um, it is valuable to spend some time thinking about the impact that you make and the contributions that you give. So in order to do this, um, I'm gonna take you through an activity. You'll have some time to think about it and then you can take this practice um, and workshop it a bit more for yourself. So this is page two, two in the tool. We have it broken up by a list of skills and a list of strengths. These are not all um, comprehensive, right? These are just some to give you some ideas in this process. What I want you to do is I'll give you two minutes now, and I want you to write down the skills that you have. I want you to at least find three in particular. They can be from this list or ones off the top of your head but I want you to identify at least three skills that you have. And then I'm gonna take you through a reflection activity to think about why those matter to your next employer. Now, I know you all at least have one transferable skill <laughs> that you thought of because you shared that in the introduction. So even if you didn't get to three, you should at least have one um, at this time. And what I want to do um, is when you're thinking about the future of your work, 
identify one of those skills that you picked out. When you think about the future of your work, the industry you're going into, the work that you're wanting to do, pick one of those skills that you think are important to that new employer. So when you utilize that skill that you picked, what does that enable you to do successfully in your workplace? What does that skill enable you to do successfully in your workplace? So for example, I've worked with individuals who have shared that they have the ability to um, train seasonal staff, right? That's the skill that they're, that they're able to do. What that enables them to do is that they are able to quickly train large numbers of new staff in order to meet the needs of their customers. That's just one example. So when you think about the skill that you identified, what outcome results from utilizing that skill and strength? I wanna take it one step further and ask you another question. How does the results from your skill benefit your employer, their business, the organization, their mission? One last question, and again, we're just trying to dig deeper to find really how your skill is an asset. So one last question to think about. What would happen if your skill or strength was absent from the employer or from the benefit, from the business? So trying to see the bigger picture of the value that your skill could bring. Okay, so you all did reflection. You have some thoughts on paper about these questions. I want you to take a look at what you wrote down and then take a moment to rewrite why your skill is important and layer in some of, the, some of the ideas around the impact it makes, around the impact it makes on the business and the employer, and include that in your, in your statement. And for those of you um, who want to share, feel free to type out your kind of rewritten skill and the value that it brings. Hi, Tina, I'll go. Oh, great. Thanks, Renee. I'll be the brave soul. Um, <laughs> so I identified my skill as a relationship manager or relationship management. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm thinking about it in the frame of, um, so there's this job I've been looking at, and it's an internship coordinator with a school. And how I think about that, um, this skill will sort of enable the school um, just through the role, through my role to engage more companies, right? So that we can have a greater inventory um, for our students uh, in terms of gaining internships. Um, and the outcome of that is really to have increased in exposure to various careers for our students, um, which as a result will um, sort of meet the goals of the school, which is to make the students sort of graduate ready, right? So when they leave school, they can either be ready to start going to the workplace or take those skills from the internship into college that would help prepare them for um, sort of working. And so if the school was sort of without that skill set, um, I imagine that, you know, they would sort of be at a status quo. So they would still have existing partners with companies. However, as we are seeing with the pandemic, um, the workforce is changing. It will require a new set of skills and so if they do not have sort of someone with that 
um, sort of skill of relationship management, it would not attract new companies that would help introduce students to the new skill, skill sets that they would need um, in this new environment. Great. Thanks for bring, being the brave soul. And it sounds like you, each one of those questions kind of helped you see it in a, yeah. in a different way. Um, and I appreciate the perspective from the student and then also the internships and the goal of, of the organization as well. And mm -hmm. that makes um, that skill in particular more compelling and also enables the employer to see how that would make an impact. So that was a great example of how you can apply really making your skill transferable and for them to see the fit. I would like uh, to provide opportunity to answer any questions or address any other things on folks' mind around transferable skills um, before we get you an opportunity to practice. So as you were going through this, where did you get stuck? What was challenging? Um, what other thoughts do you have around transferable skills before we have you all practice? Um, I'd like to um, ask a question about that. Yeah, please. Um, am I frozen? Okay, no. Um, <laughs> I am um, trying, I've, I'm in the fashion industry. I've been in the fashion industry for almost 20 years now. Um, and um, I've been doing production, uh, which is basically after something is designed, it comes to me and I figure out how to get it made and get it here on time. Um, I would like not to do that anymore. <laughs> so I, I really don't know which skills I can transfer to another industry or, mm -hmm. or something else within the industry. Um, that's where I'm really like getting stuck. So if I, I don't know which skills I can are generic enough. I don't. I don't know how to even frame it, but like how to move to another industry or something similar to what I do in another industry. Yeah. So it it takes an opportunity to zoom out, and that's um, a bit of where the reflection can help of just asking the questions. And maybe you do some assessment around your current skills, right? And just break the current skills down and then ask yourself, okay, how would this be applicable um, in another area? You can think of, um, of industries that are, that are similar, right? It doesn't have to be fashion, but there are lots of businesses out there that also need to get a product created, done, followed, and out, um, right? So you can, if you're looking for maybe in a new industry, but more direct same work, you can look at that. You can also take a step back and ask yourself, okay, why was I successful at this production role? What about me and the skills that I wanna use um, are helpful? Was it your ability to communicate, stay organized, meet deadlines, right? What If there are those things that make you successful in that role, those can be applied to other opportunities. If you're in a state of exploration too, of like, okay, no, I don't wanna do that, or I can't do that anymore. Um, it would be really great to do some networking um, and informational interviewing to ask other people like, what, what's work like in your industry right now? Tell me what, what your day-to-day -day looks like. Um, and then you'll get into a conversation and you'll be able to share a little bit of your skills and they might give you some ideas of like, oh, I see people with similar skills doing this in my industry. Would that be some of something of interest to you? So sometimes if you don't know how your skill will be applicable, it might be good to do some networking and informational interviewing to find out um, where might those skills uh, apply as well. Does that okay. help a little? Yeah, yeah, it does. Thank you. Thank you for being here, those who could have could join. Oh, thanks, Blair. Okay, 
So for those of you who are able um, to stay, uh, we want to give you an opportunity to bounce ideas off of one another. And we have found that that networking and trying some things out with each other feels safer than trying it out on, you know, during an interview in that process. So what we're going to do is um, Josh is going to get you into breakout rooms. Um, we'll put you with one other person and then have you uh, uh, get an opportunity to share your skill. So um, do what Renee did earlier, where just here's my skill and here's how um, this could would be valuable. And then if you're getting stuck, if you're not sure, then this is a great time to ask your partner, right? <laughs> um, do you have ideas? What else could you see? And just get someone else's perspective on that skill in particular. Um, and then what, if you get any feedback or any other ideas, try it again and try to, um, to really just answer the question, um, you know, what, what skill do you have and re what results can that create? So we'll give you, um, we'll give you about eight minutes in the breakout room. So that's about four minutes each to share your skill and the result it'll create. Um, we'll, there'll be a little message that comes up at the top of your Zoom screen that just says swap so that you can, you can switch um, from one another. And then we'll come back into the room and talk about any insights you gained. So anything that your partner said that um, was useful, any questions that the two of you had um, that haven't been able to be addressed yet.